Discovery. As long as people have inhabited the Earth, we've been driven to explore our world, to delve into our past, and determine what our discoveries mean for the future. At the Cleveland Museum of Natural History, discovery happens every day. From scientists in the lab to school children in the galleries, discovery illuminates the work that defines this institution. From backyard birding to anthropological work across the globe, discovery is our goal. With origins in the 1830s, the museum was formally incorporated December 13, 1920, with Paul Marshall Ray as the first museum director. In the 90 years since its founding, the museum became known both as a community anchor and a world-renowned institution supporting top scientists and exciting research. Along with donors, members, community partners, and visitors, the museum will continue to establish a legacy of education and discovery, of the natural world, of history and science, of human health and sustainability. At the heart of the museum's world-class collections and research department is a legacy born nearly 90 years ago in the very early days of the museum. In 1923, Mrs. Dudley S. Blossom financed an expedition to islands in the South Atlantic. Named for its benefactor, the schooner Blossom returned in 1926 with 12,000 bird specimens for the museum's newly established Department of Ornithology. Today, museum scientists conduct important field work across the globe in Ethiopia, Mongolia, South America, Canada, and closer to home in Ohio. Their work captures the world's attention, as it did in 1974, when museum scientists were part of a team that discovered Lucy, a 3.2 million year old human ancestor in Ethiopia. In 2009, museum scientists were part of an international team that announced the discovery of Artipithecus ramidus, or Ardi, a 4.4 million year old hominid species. The following year, Dr. Johannes Haile Selassie and colleagues published research on Katanumu, a 3.6 million year old partial skeleton also discovered in Ethiopia. Younger visitors to the museum enjoy exploring the prehistoric creatures in Kirtland Hall. These two are the result of groundbreaking work by museum scientists. Dunkelosteus terrali, the fearsome armored fish that lived 360 million years ago and discovered right here in the Cleveland Shale, is named for former curator Dr. David Dunkel. Haplocanthosaurus delsi, or happy, was found by a museum team during a 1954 expedition in the American West. In 2010, curator of vertebrate paleontology, Dr. Michael Ryan, described and named a new species of horned dinosaur, Medusaceratops. As 2010 grew to a close, Dr. Ryan was part of an international team that announced the discovery of the first horned dinosaur from South Korea, dubbed Coreaceratops, called a rare find. The specimen fills a 20 million year gap in the fossil record. These discoveries reveal new clues about our past and influence the future of scientific research around the world. The museum also offers the opportunity to explore what's beyond our world, our solar system, and the universe. In 1936, the Hannah Star Dome was installed. When museum personnel discovered that the stars didn't shine very brightly, they used some ingenuity and faceted glass from a piece of inexpensive jewelry to make the sky sparkle. We've come a long way since then. In 2010, the Leonard Krieger Visual Effects System was installed in the Nathan and Fanny Schaffron Planetarium, allowing museum astronomers to take visitors on enhanced virtual trips through the solar system and out into the distant universe. Since our early days, education has been at the core of the museum's mission. The Department of Education was organized in 1921, and by 1925, 25,000 schoolchildren per year were visiting the museum. In 1947, the world's first trailside museum was established by the museum and the Cleveland Press. The Mobile Museum visited hospitals, orphanages, and schools in remote locations, and was accompanied by museum naturalists to explain exhibits and answer questions. The museum continues its dedication to education through on-site classes and activities, as well as outreach programs, summer, spring, and winter break camps, 
Homeschool programs and distant learning classes are all part of the museum's education offerings. The Smead Discovery Center, a place that encourages children of all ages to please touch, welcomes visitors to experience hands-on learning, to be creative, and to understand the world around us. For educators, the Science Resource Center offers workshops, programming ideas, and science materials in a lending library format so that any teacher, including homeschool instructors, may have access to the museum's expertise. Through these efforts, the museum has educated more than 5.2 million students. Members and visitors can participate in museum education programs in every stage of life. Through classes, field trips, and travel opportunities, museum members have the chance to explore the natural world in many unique ways. Hundreds of years ago, Northeast Ohio was a rich mosaic of habitats. As humanity's impact on the planet increases, we're in danger of losing unique plants and animals with the decline of biodiversity. In 1956, the museum purchased Fern Lake Bog, the first natural area actively sought by the museum. This purchase established the museum's dedication to locating and preserving rare and endangered native habitats. To this day, the Cleveland Museum of Natural History is the only museum in Ohio and one of the few in the world doing this kind of work. In 2010, the museum acquired Big Swamp Preserve, bringing the total of its rare habitats protected to more than 5,000 acres. By acquiring these properties and removing invasive species and human influences, we can see the re-emergence of rare plants not seen in Ohio for more than a century. Stewardship of these natural areas is an important endeavor that remains paramount to the museum's mission. We preserve this land for the sake of the future because we believe generations to come should experience these unique habitats. Northeast Ohio's natural areas also provide a home for wildlife. As urban areas encroach on these habitats, species become threatened and even disappear. To ensure museum visitors understand how this affects their world, in 1970 the museum opened the Ralph Perkins II Memorial Woods Garden to house rehabilitated Ohio birds and mammals. Today, Wildlife Resources staff act as liaisons between these wild animals and the public. Through educational programs, live animal shows, and the outdoor habitats of many wild residents, the museum acquaints visitors with the role of animals in our changing world. As the Cleveland Museum of Natural History approaches a century of scientific discovery and service to the community, new opportunities and partnerships arise to challenge and enrich this institution. The museum now includes a Department of Human Health, the result of a 2007 merger with HealthSpace Cleveland, at the time one of the nation's oldest and most respected health museums. That same year, the museum expanded the scope of its conservation focus to include sustainability helping people understand the concept of living to ensure a beautiful natural world for future generations. The Green City Blue Lake Institute grew out of a merger with EcoCity Cleveland, one of the region's most notable and long-standing voices on sustainable practices. These steps reinforce the museum's belief that environmental health is closely connected to human health and quality of life and represent a perfect fit for an institution committed to helping visitors understand the complex relationship between humans and the world around us. For 90 years, the Cleveland Museum of Natural History has endeavored to make discovery a lifelong pursuit. Major scientific announcements and the daily discoveries of school children and visitors go hand in hand. As the museum enriches its legacy of discovery, it relies on the legacy left by those who contribute through gifts, memberships, and participation. Looking ahead to our 100th anniversary and beyond, the museum will continue to be a leader in transforming the way natural history is presented to visitors. Through reimagined exhibits, fresh perspectives, and continued dedication to scientific work, the Cleveland Museum of Natural History will revolutionize and define the role of a natural history museum in the 21st century. A community partner since 1920, the Cleveland Museum of Natural History remains dedicated to bringing world-class science and learning to the people of Northeast Ohio and to the world.